Hello, my name is Abe and welcome back to Enter the Gungeon. As the, the I believe that says a huntor. It's a huntor with the dog. Don't expect, okay, the game crashed. One more, once more into the breach, I guess. Okay. Does it, is it gonna work this time? Can I get my gun? Can I get my wolf cloak? Can we jump down into the gungeon? Is it gonna crash immediately again? I don't know. I do remember, though, the game being a little bit less stable the last time I was playing Gungeon, and, and I'm glad to see that that has not changed. We're the hunter, we've got the dog, we've got the crossbow, we've got the same dog droll that we've always had. Excellent. I'm already warmed up. I like the dog's extra item find, but I find that the dog finding consumables, really the only consumable that I want the dog to find most of the time is just keys. Okay, well, this is gonna be the build. We're gonna be a coolness run. You know, I like it when the dog finds keys, because that's not really a consumable. That's more of a permanent upgrade in disguise. It's just a a variable permanent upgrade. You get to pick which one you want. Do you want a, do you want a brown chest? Do you want a blue chest? Do you want a black chest? Do you want to go down to another floor? I like that little bit of, of player's agency over what the upgrade actually becomes. And Firewolf, thank you very much for the subscription. Kaka, the first one. Always good to see a, a new first subscriber. But yeah, like, in, in rogue, not only roguelites, but video games in general, money is just whatever the player wants or needs it to be. Do you need health? Buy health. Do you need ammo? Buy ammo. Are you good on both of those? You can buy a permanent upgrade. That's kind of like having a key. You don't know what it's gonna be until you actually make the purchase. Although in this case, it's open a chest. You've already made the purchase. You've accumulated the key. Two chests, huh? It's another active item. Poison bottle. Um, I think I'm gonna keep the cigarettes. There is a cell creep, so we're gonna sell this thing. I would like to bump up that coolness, I think. Can't believe we actually got a lucky cell creep for the poison vial. That's, that's fantastic. And I see a key, I see a key. Supporting the stream, I really enjoy your monster train on YouTube, says Firewolf. Well, I have uh, currently monster train on YouTube going up until, I can actually look at this, up until July 5th, and then I've, I'll, I'll run out. <laughs> I gotta record some more at some point. I've been enjoying playing monster train on my own, even just off of streams, just because it's a nice one-off game to play. I keep mentioning this, and it, at this point, I'm basically like teasing people who really enjoy the game. I really want to come back to Into the Breach. I really want that that tactical gameplay. That's got to happen at some point. Oh my God, what's with the active items? Now we got bees. Why are there so many bees? Actually, why are there so many bottles of things? Bees, poison, poison bees. All right, well. At least two of these active items uh, that we picked up on this floor, we got for free and we were able to sell them. So, not really the end of the world. We do need a lot more HP though. And we need to, okay, there's gonna be another thing. We need more HP and we need to start cranking on this coolness. Because the thing about coolness is that it's worth more the earlier you get it. I know that's a weird thing to say, but it is, it is true. The earlier, earlier you get it, the more HP it gives you, the more coolness you get, and then the more items you pick up as a result. More consumables and whatnot. 
so I'm really hopeful. That pretty soon. Okay, I gotta get rid of this one. It's already been gotten rid of. Really hopeful that at some point soon, we can actually get a lot of HP drops. That, you know, that's on me. I dodged in the wrong direction. So that's less HP for our, our cigarettes, unfortunately. I just misclicked. Dodged upwards instead of dodging to the right. What the heck? That is a lot of HP, though. And, you know, it's a pretty good gun. Smiley's revolver. I will take it. There's a secret room here with more HP and more HP. See, now we're now we're starting to uh, now we're starting to go here. We're starting to accumulate a ton of HP, which is what we want. Here's the ultimate question. Do you go for a random item or a blue level gun? I'm going to go for a random item cuz our guns are actually fine. I don't think I need a gun for the next floor. I just want whatever this is. <laughs> Aged Bell. Well, we can rob the shop of something so we can get more items, I suppose. It's not what I wanted, of course. No, 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 no. We, so wait, I could take the bell, I could steal forever. What I'm actually gonna do is keep the cigarettes because it's more interesting. But I will take an item. I will take an item. There we go. And we're out. Nothing else to do. Hey, AJD, welcome to the stream. What's going on? I feel like a long time no see. How you doing? No junkin', that's okay. We've actually got quite a lot of cash. We picked up a lot from the floor. I like having uh, Smiley's revolver. Let's do it. It has been a long time. Indeed, 32, Agent 3214. Right, Smiley's revolver is the one that kind of burns through the ammo pretty quickly. Shades' revolver is the one that's more acclimated for your boss fights. Now it's very important, try your damnedest to avoid taking damage so you can use more cigarettes. Because the cigarettes are gonna provide a massive value over the course of a run. You're well and enjoying the summer sales as AJD. I am doing well. Uh, I haven't really bought anything on the summer sales yet. I'm waiting for anyone to be like, hey, hey, but you should really play this game here. So if you have any like ideas for things that I should be picking up, let me know. You know, I can always look and see what's in my wish list, but I don't really have anything in my Steam wish list. I kind of took everything off of that recently because I was like, I never buy these games. They've been my, on my wish list for like five years. Yeah, like nothing nothing from the Steam Summer Sale really popped out at me being like, you should get this game. <laughs> Seagus Jr. says Skull is on sale. Ah, there you go. That's one I should pick up, right? Westa says Noita. I, I have Noita, I've played Noita. I've retired from Noita. Crosscode is a very hidden gem, says AJD. If we're talking about coding, I would say TIS 100. That's a pretty good one. I love me some Zactronics. Ooh, thank you. One reason why I don't mind using Smiley's revolver to such a large degree early in the game here 
is that if we are going coolness, we're gonna get a lot of ammo drops. Coolness builds do work in Gungeon. They are hard to make work though. Because we have to specifically avoid damage whenever possible to try to accumulate as much coolness as possible, but assuming we do, we're gonna have a lot of ammo. Which is real nice, real solid. I don't remember, by the way, what cross code is. I feel like I've definitely seen it before. On Steam and being played by other people. It might be one of those games that I've already, you know, said ignore and don't remind me later, Steam. That could be a mistake, I don't know. Also depends on how much it's on sale. <laughs> Coolest runs are the best when they click, says AJD. Is that a pun? Are you wizard wizard of legending me? Like click click bang bang. Rat a tat tat. How about that? Thank you. Action RPG MMO setting. Mm. That would probably explain why uh, I have a vague recollection of at one point being like, meh. Or having looked it up and been like, meh. I don't like MMOs in general. <laughs> I wouldn't want to play an action RPG set in the MMO universe. Unless it's a parody of the MMO uh, format. Although I don't know if any of those games exist. Is there an MMO parody game? Is there a game where you go to like the dungeon of the unforgiving and there's just like a line of, of uh, adventurers just waiting to get in? Like, we're not done. The last party hasn't come out yet. Only one allowed at a time. Like the characters in the game are aware of the fact that they go up to a, uh, like a blacksmith and he says the same line of dialogue to every party that walks up. Oh, 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 finally an adventurer has, oh, oh, fi oh, 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 finally an adventurer has come to our quaint little village. Oh, 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 finally an adventurer. That's what I want. <laughs> if I'm gonna play a game like that, that's what I want. I want it to be totally, totally over the top. Three boxes, lucky day. If only the real UPS would ship explosive packages to my doorstep, ha ha. All I get is the glitter. <laughs> Seagus Jr. says, I think Goat Simulator did that at some point. I saw on the Steam Summer Sale, Goat Simulator 3 is available. Is that the only thing that Coffee Stain Studios does these, day these days? They just make goat games? Am I the only one that remembers them for Sanctum? I liked Sanctum. I liked Sanctum too, after they patched it to make it more interesting and fun and fair and balanced and, you know, actually like, good. Now they just do goat simulators. I don't like goat simulators. Ah, oh, thank you, Moo Blair. It's another bottle of things. I don't want your active items, game. It was two bullets minimum with this gun. There's not even a cell creep here either. Um, well, how many keys do we have? Three, 
Right, well, we can open everything. Let's do it. Active item. No, Helix! That's actually a pretty good gun. So this is gonna be a passive. Or an active. It was a passive. The Amulet of the Pit Lord. I'll take the crest. We actually have quite a bit of money. Uh, I think I would like Fire Resistance Ring. And there is a Gun Muncher. We will munch. Kinda wish I could throw the uh, Potion of Lead Skin in here. Make a gun that grants me immortality. And I'm not talking about the gun that can kill your past. Instead, we got QQ, which, you know, at, at the very least, it is a, uh, hello, Mimic. At the very least, it is a uh, water gun, so we can use it to access the... The rainbow mimics if we find, or rainbow chests if we find them, the hidden rainbow chests. Uh, we can use it to go to the black market door. That's what, it, that's what it is. Hey, come here. Snake maker. Sega says, that wasn't supposed to be a recommendation, by the way. Goat Simulator was, at best, moderately funny when the first one came out ages ago. I didn't take it as a recommendation, but also I agree with that sentiment of Goat Simulator was only moderately funny when it came out. It was the uh, absurdity of it that made it uh, somewhat interesting to even think about, but it's taking itself quite a little bit too literally at this point. Like, the funny thing about Goat Simulator was, hey, you can make a game about anything these days. And now that they're on the third one, you know, they've become the butt of their own joke. What made it funny was that nothing like that had really existed up to that point, because why would you make a game about being a goat? That doesn't really make a lot of sense. Now that's like every game, you've got, uh, you know, the I'm an asshole duck simulator, which I forget the name of. Um, you got all sorts of simulators. I don't mean like actual driving game simulator, or not driving game, but like job game simulators. I just mean like, be this, be that, be this other thing. Be the shopkeep of your own dungeon. Like, you got everything. Yeah, Goose Game, that's the one. I guess you're not a duck, then you're a goose. <laughs> How many goats are there left to simulate anyway since that toggy? I don't know. How many goats exist? How many goats do you personally know? Finally, thank you, dog. There you go. We've al already done the deposit, so I will... Oh, now we don't need the freaking ring. Pop. HP. And grab HP. Yeah, I think of, of any video game, the one that we did not need a sequel to was Goat Simulator. Did you, were you not a goat enough in the first one? was also the time, unfortunately, around where I think Coffee Stain kind of did just lose lose sight of making fun games. I don't know if anyone else remembers, but Sanctum 2 was not very fun on launch. I still hold a grudge for that one, because I was excited for that game, and to it be mediocre on release, it's like, well... 
It's always unfortunate when that happens. room. Ashen Ran, welcome. How is your Elden Ring shenanigans going today? Have you beaten the game with your third character yet? I got to thinking the... I'm gonna say the other day, but really it's yesterday. I got to thinking yesterday after playing Elden Ring that um, the next time we jump into the game, I might respect and become a Dragon Man. Because <laughs> that just that just seems fun. They've added in a lot of uh, cool like magics in the game, and I never really did any of the, the magics in, in Elden Ring. I don't really do them in any of the Souls games. In all of the Souls games, I, I basically am just a, I'm using a big sword. That'd be fun for a change. All righty then. Mailbox, Miley's revolver, Helix, probably Helix. Fighting you again, huh? I fought you yesterday. Where's my beholder at? The turrets, you can turn them into snakes. go. This thing takes a long time to reload. Jesus. I mean, I knew that, but... Have you tried eSports Godfather? I have seen it in a stream and it looks really nice. I have not tried anything called, quote, eSports Godfather, end quote. However, um, it also does not sound like anything I would play. <laughs> I don't play e I don't play any esports game. You might, you might say, Rocket League counts. I don't think Rocket League counts as an esports game. I would, I would argue against that. Academy Kills says, I'm level 248, I carry two colossal heavy swords. A man of taste, I see. <laughs> now we gotta think here. This is one coolness per floor. Two coolness now. Key for the next floor, or open up a chest. Let's open up the chest. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. Sure. Why not? Um, starting to accumulate a lot of guns here. That's a good point, AJD. Does save us 50 bucks. 66, 46. Can't afford both these two things. You know, actually thinking about it after having made the transaction, I am a little bit surprised that it worked because of the fact that I did steal from you on the last floor, which I believe means it's not a guarantee it's gonna work here, but it did anyways. Ashen Ren says, yesterday both of my hard drive crashed. Your hard drives crashed? What does that mean, your hard drives crashed? Also, it seems like you need new hard drives. Do, 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 do. 
Hisigo Burr and then died and revived. That doesn't sound like your hard drive crashing, that sounds like your computer crashing. Yes, your hard drives are a part of the computer, but it doesn't, unless you know that it was your hard drive that crashed, maybe it wasn't. How do you know? Ooh, thank you, Doge. Damn it, chest. I needed that HP. I did not need that HP. I know because he got 10 years and the cable are sensible. That clears it up. <laughs> I don't know what it, the mechanic is with him, but I always steal from him and it always works, says AJD. I mean, my, my understanding, and I don't know if this is actually correct, but my understanding about the, the stealing mechanic is that uh, the first time you steal from him, it's, it always succeeds if it's a stealth steal, not a grappling hook steal. Subsequent times in the same shop, you're likely to be seen and caught. If you try to steal on a different shop, like a different bellow shop on a different floor, you could still be captured, caught, but it's less likely. And any other shop has independent uh, being caught probabilities. It's like you can steal from him, you can steal from uh, the blank guy, and then the, they would have independent chances of being detected. But I don't know. I never really understood it myself, let's be honest. I just, I try to limit it to one steal per bellow. Per run. Not per bellow, but I guess one steal for bellow per run. Because I'm pretty sure in the past, I've been caught after stealing from him more than once. And sometimes even you can get away with using the grappling hook and he doesn't catch you due to some some reason that I don't understand, but it's like the, uh, he gets angry, he slams his fist on the table, which distracts him from uh, actually seeing you steal. Sometimes you can abuse the, uh, the D-pad to do that. He'll think that you're shooting in his shop, not stealing from him in certain situations. Can't you steal with the grappling hook if Bello can't see you, such as when you're out of the room? So, you can steal from Bello with a grappling hook if you're two rooms away. Because if you're two rooms away from him, it doesn't load his AI. So if you have a, a direct line to the item, you can do it. It's kinda hard to get in that position, but it's been known to happen. I think I've done that before. And I, I I think that's how it works. I know I've played, you know, 2,000 hours of this game, but don't quote me, I don't know anything. Gamepad or mouse and keyboard? Because you can see the cursor, that means mouse and keyboard. If it was gamepad, it would be like, Tidally locked, like a, a moon orbiting me. But because of, of this movement, you can you can tell it's a mouse and keyboard.
First deal is 100%. Second, sub floor 50. If you don't steal, it jumps to 75, then 100. Second sub floor? So stealing, stealing from him twice, the second chance is 50%, and if you don't steal from him, then the next floor will jump to 75, uh, and then 100%. So after two floors, you're able to steal guaranteed. Is that what you mean? That's a lot of math. Also, I feel like that's incorrect. I feel like your second, the second time you steal, I feel like it's like a 90% chance he sees you. I find it very rare that two thefts actually work. Well, perfect timing. Not like I care. I'm gonna grab the accuracy, I'm gonna grab the key. We have just enough money open up. Actually, we're not gonna open up the chest, we're going to fight the boss, then open up the chest that he drops. Well, it's gonna be hard to use Disintegrator here. It's also gonna be hard to see. Fun fact about gamepad, the radius of the cursor orbiting you is the same as the sweet spot of Casey. Like the maximum range of Casey? Interesting. I'm not on fire, I thought I was gonna be on fire. close there. <laughs> there we go. Wiki says 10%, yet I've heard 50% from many people that know more about the game's code for the chance of successfully stealing a second time. It, honestly, this is one of the situations when I'm, when I'm thinking the wiki is probably right in this situation. 10% successful chance of stealing twice sounds about right. I thought the 10% was from stealing twice on the same floor. Correct. But I think what um, what Academy Kill is suggesting is that, and th that must be what he means by second subfloor. I think what he's saying is that for Bello specifically, every floor you go without stealing from him, he forgets more and more. Bello is a forgetful old man He's uh, Lord Sadler from the original Resident Evil, a senile old man with uh, uh, visions of, of godhood in his head. And the more you wait before you try to steal again, the more likely it is to succeed, which actually makes a lot of sense. Because I've, I've, I've noticed something similar through my 2000 hours of playing this game. After you wait uh, at least one floor, He's not guaranteed to, as guaranteed to capture you as uh, or to catch you as he is the first time around. So, like if you try to steal from him twice on the same floor, it's all almost a guarantee he's going to catch you. But if you wait, it's not a, always a guarantee. That's why I, I have a personal rule of thumb of only steal from him once, even if it's a different floor, because I don't want to be caught. I don't want to ruin my shop for the rest of the run. He's a good shop, too. All right, Wolf says, I'm decent in shooters and good in lol, but I suck at Enter the Gungeon Bullet Hell games in general. Got any tips? You see, I'm like the exact opposite. I'm bad at shooters, and I've never played lol. I might be bad at shooters, but I like them. Like, I want to like them. 
I like shooting zombies. I hate shooting other players, though. Too much pressure. Here's a tip for Gungeon. Dodge roll, forehead. Stealing with the D-pad is better because you do break his AI from saying you stole to stop shooting. Uh, that doesn't work all the time. So I don't do that if I can avoid it. You can use the D-pad to steal from Bello and he won't catch you because he'll be, he'll actually uh, be angry that you are robbing him. Or, sorry, shooting in his shop rather. Uh, but that's not a guarantee. Sometimes he'll still catch you. Ashen Ren says, Elden Ring invasions are fun. I, I wanna do more invasions. I wanna make a, a soul level one character invade Stormville Castle as a dragon man, but that would require me to play the entire game soul level one. <laughs> that might take a while. Um, alternatively, you can download like character sheets from uh, like Nexus mods. And it's just like a level one character that has every item in the entire game. But I feel like that ruins part of the fun, which is doing it yourself. You know, you gotta earn it. I don't wanna cheat, I just want to have what I want. I want to be that asshole, but I wanna be that asshole who earns it and not that asshole who uh, just does it for the fun. Don't forget you have the rat key. Damn, I you almost let me forget. I mean, oh, thank God you reminded me. You almost let me forget. We wouldn't want that now, would we? Earning it's better. That's what I want, I wanna earn it. And hell, like, it doesn't have to be soul level one in Stormvale Castle. It could be, you know, level 20. Gives me enough points that I can actually, like, use all of the, like, cool dragon incantations, and then we can just be, like, a weird dragon man in the castle for some reason. We can create our own lore for it. Hello. Remind me of this, because that's not on the map. gonna give a lot of potential coolness, which is the only reason why I'm gonna remind you. Otherwise, yeah, he sucks. That's a good point. We do want to keep cranking on, uh, on our cigarettes. Not a lot of health has been dropping, though, which is very unfortunate. Um, we got a couple of keys. Yeah. Reload fires a bullet. Yeah, that's something. Who are we fighting? We don't dodge a lot, so I actually think Disintegrator's fine. I hate being under you here, but... Okay, I can't actually see the bullets. That's another problem. I don't have any explosions, do I? You know what, I can do this, and then this. Whoa! Get down! Get down! They're gonna track me. But you're dead. Open green, then do it, chance for flight. Yeah, we didn't get anything, did we? Well, we got this. Oh yeah, you're right, this is good for gun game. That's what you mean. Yeah, 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 okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
After how many hours did you first beat this game? I got no freaking idea. <laughs> Is that information we can pull from the Steam game APIs? I feel like I'm gonna need to pull some information. Perfect! Look at that shooting. He's a goddamn genius. Yeah, that time it missed. Okay, and actually I gotta, like, think now. You know, uh, this seems like a better shot, because I can hit the other, the other uh, target. Yeah, absolutely. Whoo, whoo! Now that's a gun! Now that's a gun, stranger. A gun's not just about shooting, it's about reloading. You'll know what I mean, stranger. Oh. Thank you, Boots. <laughs> Flawless shooting, yeah. Um, uh, four hearts. One, two, three, four. Don't even need to use blanks here. Academy kills is a hundred hours, a thousand hours. I don't know how long it took me to beat my first run of this game. I don't, I don't have memories that go back that far. <laughs> uh, seems like a good time for one of these. Got him. It's like the same room. Up, up, right, right. Suddenly accosted by a horde of skeletons, exactly. Stormworm, welcome, how are you doing? So many skeletons. This is going to be a long day. Well, it's already uh, 5.06 p.m., so how long can it really be? Uh, down, up, down. One of those weird, weird situations where the best gun is the snowballer. Maybe it's not so weird. It rises. Um, so Gunther's not gonna be very good for this. I think we're better off with like Beehive and then in phase two Helix. Stormworm says, I've been trying out a game called Warkana. Demo was great. Ha didn't hear of it? Perhaps if given the opportunity, I'll check it out. Especially if it still has a demo.
Academy Kill says, Abe, I'm off early now. <laughs> when will we play Returnal together? Honestly, we should do that at some point. Maybe we'll do it off stream, Academy. Send me a, a Discord DM. To remind me. I, I actually wouldn't mind that. Climb some tower. One of those. I see what you're shooting. There it is. Got it. Oh yeah, you still have the rail gun. It scales really well from early stages of each match. You're already sending thousands of units at your army, at your enemy. Oh, it's one of those games, those like war simulators where you have 10,000 men riding 10,000 horses, riding 10,000 elephants, and you're just like throwing them at a at another army, right? See, when you said War Kana, my mind immediately went to like War Arcana, like war with magic. And I'm like, is it a card game? <laughs> I, I hear Arcana and I go, Wizard of Legend? You mean like Battle Simulator 2024, gotcha. Alright, my, my brain speed right now is such that I'm just gonna wait for the taunt. I I don't think I can fun I, I don't think I can functionally attack this guy when he's punching me. Could you stop punching me, actually? He's just doing the same damn uppercut. Thank you, piece of garbage. AJD asks, did you like Wizard of Legend 2? So I did a let's look at of it and I posted the video up on YouTube if you're curious. Um I, I did not like the Wizard of Legend 2 demo. Which is unfortunate because I really wanted to. But, um, yeah, I understand now that it's actually being made by a different developer. It's not made by Contingent 99. It's, ma it's being made by Dead Mage Studios, who made Children of Morta. And Children of Morta was a very fun game to play. But because it's not Contingent 99, a lot of the charm from the original Wizard of Legend has been lost. Like, I find the game's attempt at humor to just be childish and, and cringe-worthy. I, I miss the puns from Wizard of Legend 1. It's kind of a bit of a more timeless humor. Okay, we <laughs> down to the wire on that one. Excessive VA and Hades like gameplay. So the excessive VA is um, highly annoying. And I think that immediately to me is a bit of a like red flag of, I think that fundamentally the developers don't necessarily understand what people want from the game because that amount of VA is definitely not appreciated. And if they think that it is, like, what the players want, then they don't know what their players want. If they, if they think that the players want someone to just drone on incessantly over the top of video games being played on the screen, then, oh my god! Look, that's my job! I can't have the video game take my job! These damn video game developers, they're taking my gerbs! Um, 
I didn't get any of that HP, did I? But, uh, the game play itself is just slow and generic. It's not that it's Hades-like gameplay. If it had Hades-like gameplay, I would be all over it, but it doesn't. The gameplay is actually just very slow. You're not really engaging with the enemies that much. You're just kind of like running away from them and waiting for your ranged Arcana to come off of cooldown. Um, it's just a lot slower. And the cool thing about Wizard of Legend 1 was that it was a very fast-paced game. You have to learn the enemies to the point where you can get in there and actually engage with them. But in Wizard of Legend 2, it just seems very slow and, and drawn out. So I think that's another reason why. We need this, and we don't need... Oh, we got a synergy there. Thanks. He did not drop HP for you to forget to pick up, says AJD. Oh, good. <laughs> I thought I made a mistake. Whew. Turns out I'm still perfect. All right, let's get this Gunther leveled up. Yeah, like, here's what I want from, like, Wizard of Legend 2, right? So a lot of people are to, are upset about the fact that it transitioned to 3D. I don't care, okay? Because it transitioning to 3D doesn't change the gameplay if they're not using the third dimension. I, I talked about this very thing in the actual video that I put up. In Risk of Rain 2, when the game transitioned to 3D, that changes the gameplay because you're playing a, like a third person shooter game at that point. You have to look around you to see what's behind you. You can't just see what's on the screen because it's just all on the screen. You know, the third dimension changes the gameplay. But in Wizard of Legend 2, it's still a 2D gameplay just with a 3D game engine. So the engine doesn't actually change the gameplay. What I was hoping would be that the engine would allow for much greater, like, magical interactions with the uh, with the environment. Like, I wanna I wanna see trees be toppled over if I use a wind arcana. If I use an earth arcana, I wanna see like cracks form in the ground because I'm like pulling up ground to throw it at the enemies. I want to see scorch marks from the from the the grass being burned from fire arcana. You know, I want to see the 3D engine be put to good use. And you don't see that in Wizard of Legend 2 either. So what's what's the point of turning it into a 3D game? The point of making it a 3D game, I think, is to just make their development easier, you know, because you just use 3D game assets, you put put them down in the engine, you don't have to make these pixel graphics that all, like, you know, read and look good. But anyways, like, what I what I want to see from the sequel, I just, I just, I'm not seeing from Wizard of Legend 2. Guys, my gun's broke. I can't aim at you, my gun's broke. Okay, I gotta fix my gun. It's too annoying trying to aim when your gun is aimed in the wrong direction. Let's hope they fix these issues before the full release. I mean, can they? Like fundamentally, I think the game design might be flawed, but you know, they can always change it between now and release. You know, I don't know when they plan to release it, but... Like, there's just so many parts of the game, I think, that are just... wrong for my liking, for my tastes. Yeah, they can... they can reduce the voiceover so that you're not constantly being annoyed, but they can't necessarily like, well, they, they can, they, they can't. It depends on how much work they wanna actually put in changing their gameplay. 
they might be too far into development at this point to be like, okay, we're fundamentally altering the expectations for the video game. We're rewriting everything. We're changing the narrative. We're changing the story. We're changing everything. Who knows? You know, they... <laughs> so De Dead Mage being the developer right now, they're not actually in charge of the development. I'm pretty sure it's still probably Contingent 99 game just being made by a third party developer. So they might have like deadlines they have to meet. They might not have full creative control. So even if the developer wanted to change things, it might not be their decision. It might be a management decision. Like, oh, we got to make a game. We, we can't spend that much time uh, redoing the game. It's got to be out for Christmas. We can hit those targets. Isn't this the purpose of the demo? Well, no, the purpose of the demo is... Well, I mean, fundamentally, the purpose of a demo originally is to see if you like the game. It's to... Uh, to get interest into the game. You know, you like originally you would release games in shareware, which is just part of the game, to drive interest in purchasing it. Nowadays, it's more of a marketing tool slash, uh, I tend to use it as, will the game run well? You know, if I'm playing a demo, I'm playing a, well, I'm playing a demo make a video on it, let's be honest. Um, but I'm playing a demo to see if I'm gonna like the game, I'm playing a demo to see if it'll run. I'm not playing, I'm not playing a demo to critique the narrative style that they're employing in the game, you know? Yeah, that's more of an early access thing. Help us make the game. I don't want to help them make the game. I want a good game. I want it to be out. <laughs> I want my game and I want it now. Yeah, exactly. The game isn't out to sell me on it. Except they kind of are trying to sell you on it, right? That's the, the reason why you have Steam Next Fest demos. You know, the more attention they can get on their product, the more likely they are to be able to, like, bring in investors. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about, let's be honest. I'm just... Talking out of my ass over here! But anyways, TLDR, Wizard of Legend. It was a, uh... Unfortunately disappointing generic demo when I played it, so. Originally, you just asked if I had played it. I did! <laughs> there you go. Um, you know, I see me an egg, I say, egg it. Can't teleport back. As if you liked it. That's true, you did. So yeah, TLDR. It doesn't feel like a sequel to Wizard of Legend 2. It feels like a different game with Wizard of Legend 2 branding. Team Dungeon. I probably am also not making a lot of sense when I talk. This is the reason why whenever I'm doing like actual reviews, I tend to uh, play the game, 
spend like six hours actually like writing out my thoughts and then being a little bit more coherent about my <laughs> running commentary. Um... Hellhole! Good synergy. Um, what do we want? I guess we can dump the bring. We don't need to steal, we have enough money. Oh, we're the rat, the rat's not gonna steal anything anyway. We'll steal from this uh, shop if we need it. Maybe their intention was they wanted to come up with another game. I mean, I, I wonder why Contingent 99 is, isn't making Wizard of Legend 2. That's what interests me. Like, I, I know that it probably wasn't a very large group of people making Wizard of Legend 1. But why go with a third party developer? They could have just hired and did it in house. That's really what I'm interested in. Because, like, I've, I've worked for video game companies before. I've been a part of these very awkward decisions where it seems like people don't know what they're doing, but they're the ones who are actually in power making the important decisions that end up running your company into a ground. Like, why Why are they running, why are they handing the development over to another company? Yeah, maybe it's cheaper, but... I don't know. I mean, what's interesting is that it, I feel like Wizard of Legend 2 might end up being a fine game, but I feel like it's a poor fit for Wizard of Legend. I feel like the branding actually does the game a bit of a disservice. Again, I liked Children of Morta. My problem isn't with the company making the game, my problem is that it just doesn't feel like Wizard of Legend 2. Which reminds me, I've got to do a let's look at a Raven watch, which also feels uh, very generic and slow. And a lot of the same criticism, I, get, I guess, from Wizard of Legend can be levied there. Slow game, generic gameplay, not very original, not very exciting. <laughs> Eshenran says, meanwhile, Abe is a god at Gungeon. Oh yeah, we're still playing this game, huh? Look, I'm just, I'm just trying to be cool, smoke some cigarettes, have a good time. Get my dog to pay out with some HP. Turn it into more cigarettes. Stop aiming for the thing that I can't kill bullets. Ah! It'll take stun. Abe's favorite game type, slow and generic. I, you know, yeah, maybe, maybe I'm just a bad person to ask. Maybe I like things to be a little bit more exciting. Really? You got nothing for me? Nothing at all? I don't even need to steal from you. I'm just gonna smoke in your shop. How do you like that? You have no sign that says no smoking. Dummy. You should have a sign up. Speaking of exciting, need more atomic crops. No. I don't wanna. You can't make me. Is this tentacle any good in this situation? It might save my fingers a little bit of clicking. Save it for the next floor. Oh. 
They got me. Why play Atomic Crops when you can play a game about a demonic tram? I think I know what you're talking about. Why would you play a game about farming when you can play a game about the uh, public transportation system in hell? Hellhole is good. Hellhole is very good. Hellhole's the good singularity synergy because it just does so much freaking damage. It basically charges itself. Imagine if Valdrill made a sequel of Gungeon, but focused on gunplay rather than cool references and hectic gameplay? What do you mean, gunplay? Does Gungeon not focus on gunplay? <laughs> I'm playing with a gun. I got a beam. I got multiple beams. Get beamed. I always gotta think about it during the fight. I never think about it before the fight, do I? Shot by your own tiny serpent, no respect. Honestly, the reason why some of these dodges are poor is uh, I have multiple speed upgrades, and as we all know, speed upgrades in Gungeon just make it, the dodges really hard. Because speed affects your dodge distance for some reason, so. I keep dodging into bullets. announced a game in the same universe as Gungeon in development. No, they already released it. It's called Exit the Gungeon. game where you are a like fish that plays the guitar and you play a, you use a gun to kill bandits in a wasteland desert mm -hmm. just saying just spitballing here ah flipping a table makes our damage really good with this I mean, yeah, House of the Gun Dead, exactly. excited for like half a second when I remembered, oh yeah. The secret rooms suck down here. <laughs> yeah, this is a great little indie game called Nuclear Throne I think you enjoy. One of these days, Nuclear Throne might even get an update. I don't know if it will, but I was amazed, like, you know, six months ago when I realized, or when I was told, that it had 60 FPS widescreen support, and I was like, wow. That's a sick beta branch.
God, I'm so fast. I don't even want to be this fast. Nuclear throne mods. Eh, well. Or not. Get out of here, gun. Stop talking to me. You're not playing in turbo mode? Oh no, I'm in, I'm in turbo mode. I just also have like three speed upgrades that are making it really hard for me to dodge. I've got gun boots, I've got the rat boots, I've got the speed up in the coffee. So I am, I am zooming. How'd you not die? One bullet away. Architrast says, if only cigarettes provided a speed down or something. No, uh, what it is is, um, <laughs> I'm thinking of like the inverse of Jupiter from Isaac. As you're moving, you get slower and slower because you get out of breath. <gasps> Hold on a minute. <sighs> You know what? We don't need half of the guns that we have. We have Gunther. And let's get rid of this. Asthmatic rifle. This is Architraz. No, I mean, it would have to be a passive, let's be honest. <laughs> you could just call it lung cancer. Then it would actually be an Isaac item. Call it mesothelioma or something. Um, yeah. Oh hell, ah, why? I don't care. I'm not here to make this one run of Gungeon last uh, 600 years. I'm just here to kill the Lich. And defeat my pass and avoid eating that tuna salad sandwich yesterday. say I'm so fast I don't even have to dodge, but I think I have to dodge because I'm so fast. <laughs> These are not mutually exclusive uh, elements. AJD says, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna head to sleep, have a great stream. Wait like one minute. At least wait until I do my outro. Shh. You're not gonna know how the run ends. I could break it up at the last minute. You never know. I could do too many cigarettes and uh, die. Don't smoke, kids. This could happen to you. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> All right, have a good night, AJD. Thanks for being here. All right, good run. Did a lot. Did a lot, a lot. 
Got a lot of coolness. Did not get the coolness payout, which, uh, well, really, the coolness payout in this game is the crit gun. Is there any other good coolness-related scaling item? Crit bullets doesn't work with coolness. It's only the crit gun. So, yeah, that's really what you're hoping for. You're hoping for the crit gun. Still, fun run. Good run. Good gungeon. Lots of coolness. We even had six chamber, which I completely remembered. When the hell did we pick this up? Was it early? No, because we... When did we pick that up? <laughs> for now, for those of you on YouTube, thank you very much for watching. Like the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Check me out on Twitch for when I go live. Support the channel at the various links below in the video description. And I hope to see you here again for the next run of Enter the Gungeon.